All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er update. Ricky Pearsall signs. We'll talk a little Ricky Pearsall coming up next. Pig and a Pickle, two locations, Emeryville, Court of Madera, open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. Go get the brisket. Oh, it is absolutely mouthwatering. Uh, go say how to Damon and Mary and tell them that Larry Kruger sent you. Get the brisket. The brisket chili is absolutely amazing. And, of course, we're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Check the link in the description. Use the uh, promo code KRUG, K-R-U-E-G, and they'll match you up to your first $100. All right, let's talk about it. Ricky Pearsall, the final 49er uh, to sign his contract, and, and that is official today as uh, they get his name on the dotted line. 6'1", 189-pound rookie out of the University of Florida. Niners took him 31st overall in round one, and he gets a rookie four-year deal. And so their entire draft class officially is assigned and ready uh, for training camp this summer. It's a four-year deal for Pearsall, $12.54 million, uh, signing bonus of $5.94 million, salary cap pit of $2.28 million. Um, last year at Florida, 68 receptions for Pearsall, 965 yards, four touchdowns in 12 games his uh, senior year there at Florida. He had 14 touchdowns over five seasons in college, which does not really sound like a lot of production. Most of it of obviously coming in that last year uh, where he had four touchdowns, but 14 total touchdowns in five college seasons. My big question with Pearsall is just, he's how tough is he? How durable can he be? You know, I, he, you know, living across the middle in the NFL is a tough place to live. And he's going to take big hits. And the question is, you know, what, how does he react to taking those big hits? And, you know, what is he, what's he like on the other end? Does he, does he tiptoe through the middle, afraid to take big hits? I, you know, the one thing about Pearsall that's really kind of exciting is um, there was one from the NFL.com scouting report quoting, quoting a um, AFC regional scout about Pearsall. I love this line. It's a great line. The guy says, I don't know how fast he is, but he gets open and he's got great hands. He just needs a more accurate quarterback. So if you watch Florida, I mean, Florida's quarterbacks were not the best in the country. Let's just say that. Um, and now he's playing with Brock Purdy. And it's like, in some ways, this is going to be potentially a very incredible relationship between Purdy and Pearsall because in a lot of ways they need each other. Pearsall can get open. He's got great hands, but he doesn't separate for big periods of time. He can separate in a short area and the ball's got to be there. If, if he can play with the quarterback that can play on time, uh, Purdy to Pearsall has the potential to be very prolific. Purdy to Pearsall has potential for prolific. There you go. Uh, but yeah, no, I really do think that because Pearsall can separate, Purdy can throw it accurately, and they're just kind of made to play with each other. And as far as, you know, Purdy or Pearsall helping Purdy, safety valve. You know, the one thing about Pearsall that's interesting, he can separate in on the route, and then he, he'll he's a receiver that will work back to the quarterback and he'll separate again, working back to the quarterback. So he's just very quick and decisive with great hands. And I just think him and Purdy together potentially um, could be really, really good in this first year. So, you know, if you look at, at, you know, the thing that stands out about Pearsall is that we saw him in that first camp and he's been wearing the blue Jersey. So he's not taking any contact. And that's really the question is just he's a little bit slight. So, I mean, he's not he's not tiny or anything. He's six one, but he's six one one ninety. Um, and, you know, if you people say, well, you know, he could be like Puka Nakua. Puka is so physical. And you look at Ayuk and Debo. These guys are so physical. Um, you know, it's just getting off the line of scrimmage is going to be a challenge. And can he get? Can he beat the jam? And then in the middle of the field, you know, I've heard people say he's Julian Edelman. <laughs> All right, Julian Edelman was like one of the toughest receivers ever. So is this guy really tough? Can he take big hits and 
and continue to run, you know, courageously across the middle of the field. That would be my big question with Pearsall, but they get him signed. And, you know, if you look at the 49ers wide receiver core, um, it's stacked. I mean, if everybody's going to be there, I mean, think about it this way. They're probably going to wind up. Most teams go with five and some teams go with six wide receivers. 49ers have Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, <laughs> Ricky Pearsall, Jacob Cowling, Juwan Jennings. That's five right there. That could be your entire wide receiver core. And that means there's no roster spot for Ronnie Bell or Trent Taylor or Danny Gray or Chris Conley, who was a really good special teamer for them late in the year. Um, he had a coverage uh, tackle in the Super Bowl that was amazing. Um, and he made plays in the playoffs, you know, as a receiver. So, and then Tay Martin, um, Tariq Owens, I think is, you know, really raw, probably headed for the practice squad. But, you know, look at that. That's the 49ers have unbelievable depth at wide receiver. When you're saying you don't have any roster spots for, you know, basically Ronnie Bell, Chris Conley, Danny Gray, Trent Taylor, Tay Martin, you're going to cut like five receivers that could probably play in the NFL. That's a lot. So, it, you know, it's going to be interesting. I know a lot of people um, have speculated on a lot of things with Ayuk, and who knows? I, I hope Ayuk is here for the year uh, or, you know, long term because he's absolutely, you know, on a different level. I mean, he is he can run all the routes and make all the plays. Um, but definitely a guy like Pearsall is going to be interesting to see added to the mix just because of his ability to run routes, be precise have great hands working with a quarterback who's very accurate. And the one thing that you could tell as the practices continued in the last mini camp is that these guys, Purdy and Pearsall have field time together. And now Brock is starting to throw with anticipation to Pearsall because he knows Pearsall is going to be in a certain spot. Um, and they're building that trust. And I heard Brock say the same thing about, about working with Jacob Cowing, that he's got the trust in Cowing, which is really exciting if you think about it, because 49ers already had a great tandem right there and a great trio, really. I mean, Juwan was maybe one of their best players. He might have been the MVP of the Super Bowl had they won it. Um, but now to add two more receivers like Pearsall and Cowing, pretty exciting if you're a 49er fan, just from the standpoint that, Pearsall can really run routes and has great hands. And it's just a matter of how tough is he, uh, but he definitely can make catches. I mean, and you're going to see it. You're going to see it in training camp. You're going to see it in the preseason. Um, you know, Brock and him are both seem like the kind of guys that, you know, it, it may be where, where Brock can throw a, a you know, a, a short, a short route that, Pearsall runs and they're on the same page and it's just, it's nearly in top of, um, impossible to stop because it, you know, Brock's throwing the ball before the break. The two of them only know, you know, where, where the receiver is going to be. I mean, they look like they could have an amazing rapport uh, long-term because I mean, they had a really good rapport in the spring after just, what a week or two of reps. It couldn't have been more than two or three weeks of reps together. And that was impressive to see just the improvement and how smooth it looks like in the last few practices, it really looked like Purdy and Pearsall had played, had, you know, played together for a while. And that's, that's really incredible because they haven't. And if you see them this summer in camp, and I just think it's going to get, they're going to get more and more and more on the same page. And I just think Pearsall is really going to help the 49ers in the short and intermediate and, and just as a continuity piece, third and five, you know, you go three wides and somehow you get him on the field and, you know, he runs a little stop route, turn around from a strike and, you know, the drive continues. And then for Cowling, if he can separate down the field, I mean, Purdy to Cowing is going to be a very epic 
situation as well because Purdy's going to Purdy wants to throw the ball down the field. 49ers have not really had a receiver like Cowing with 438 speed who's a great route runner who can separate vertically. And now they have that that element as well. So to me, if you say what's the exciting part about getting ready for training camp, it's the fact that the Niners have they've got Purdy who looks like probably going to play his best ball right here. Um, and you've got a pretty, pretty loaded group of weapons with speed and depth and talent, right? Running back, tight end, wide receiver. Um, they scored 30 points a game last year. They're going to score 30 points again this year. Uh, and it, and it, it should be fun to watch, but especially, uh, with Pearsall signing today, uh, just the thought of him and Jacob Cowing, um, being added to the mix as rookies to, an already very good wide receiver core, and now just making it that much more explosive and dynamic, and and um, you know you got both. You know you want you want big playability, and I think you got that in Cowing, and you want the kind of continuity piece that makes it impossible for teams to get you off the field in third and middle uh, downs, and you got that in Pearsall. So if you're a 49er fan, um, I think you got to be thrilled. Anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug Show. Uh, thanks to Underdog Fantasy as well for sponsoring this video. And thanks to you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.